It'll be another week before I'm back in the hack shack, so I decided to enlist some help to get a video out. Meet Bobo if you don't already know him. Hello! I'm letting him into my house remotely so he can get to my computer. I'm in. There, he'll have access to terabytes of unused footage that I never made videos with. You'll find out why. I got the files. I am taking off. Ah! <laughs> the first two archives I transferred to Bobo were straight up failed videos. In late summer, I went out with just my phone in a hero session to show what you can do with minimal camera gear. Things started off great. I was getting shots and telling a story. Until the skies opened up. I decided to hightail it back down before it got worse. It never ended up getting quite what I needed. And that was that. The second archive was of me clearing debris off a trail, which I do from time to time. It was after that big hurricane hit Florida and made its way up the east coast as a tropical depression. The damage on the trail wasn't that bad, and I cleared it all without getting hurt or moving anything ridiculously big. This has thorns on it. Ah, these riding gloves are not work gloves. Ah, those hurt. So what would I title that video? Clearing a trail without any real challenges or issues? That's not realistic, interesting, or worth making a video on, so I scrapped it. The next archive is a sore spot for me because it contains half a trip to Beach Mountain. I was going to review this bike park, but lost an entire 64 gigabyte memory card of my best footage. I was devastated and scrapped the whole thing. But screw it, let's see if Bobo can piece together the ratings with the footage I do have. The first category is the lift ticket price, which is $35. It gets a 5 for being average. On to ease of access, which is pretty good considering there's no traffic up in Boone. It's a little far from major population centers though, so I give it a 7. Next I'll rate bike rentals, which seemed okay. They had good bikes there for the terrain, but I couldn't confirm how well they were maintained. So I'll give them a 6 for probably being slightly above average. On to the lift which was left in the hands of this guy. Are there really explosives in there? Yeah, sometimes we have supplies drop. We have supplies drop. Wow. What do you use? Wow, you use explosives. explosives. Yeah. yeah. All things considered, the lift was really nice and well-maintained, but the chairs were spaced so far apart that the weights were longer than whistling. This is the most horrendous lift line. I'll need to ding the lift rating for that and give it a six, even though it was safe and well-run. Thank you. On to trail quality, which I'll give an easy 7. Aside from one ridiculous flat turn. What the hell are they thinking with that turn? The whole place was very well built and maintained with no braking bumps and fantastic rock work. Holy sh**. But trail variety gets a 3. That's basically how many options you have at beach. Okay, starting to learn the lines on this. There's a bunch of beginner stuff and maybe one really rad run down the mountain which gets old quick. To be fair, you really can't have it both ways. The more trails you add, the less time your staff has to maintain them all. Beach went the safe route, so they lose points on variety. On to food, which gets a one, and I mean it. It was really overpriced, shitty food in a depressing ski lodge. What you got there? Castle Della? I'm not sure if I got a shot of their health department rating, but it was scary low. Next time, I'll pack a lunch. On to Fun Factor, which I give a 6. Beach Mountain is dead average in most respects, but at the summit is a full bar. It was really fun hanging out up there, and because of that, it gets a slightly above average rating. On Scenery, Beach Mountain gets a 6 as well. Although there are great views of the Blue Ridge Mountains, they lose points for mowing down 90% of the trees. I understand it's a ski hill, but other parks manage to preserve the surroundings a bit more. Finally, the likelihood of returning is about a 5, which is to say I might or might not. Even though I live close to Beach Mountain, I have a lot of options out here including Windrock. This brings the total score to 52, which is dead average, thus concluding the Beach Mountain portion of this video. Why is the food an important rating? Why is the scenery an important rating? It's like, you go on a mountain bike trail to climb and beat yourself up and have like a religious experience, but a bike park you go to to be pampered. Yeah. You know? <laughs>
The next archive is from my last trip to New York, when I visited The Bike Man. The Bike Man for You is a shop owner out in the Hamptons, who frequently runs a live stream on his YouTube channel. It's really cool that you're here, man! Can you tell he's from Long Island? You know, what's compatible with what, and where, and how, and who, and he? And I'm like, <laughs> Bike Man's live streaming setup is absolutely insane, comprising of pan-tilt zoom security cameras mounted all over the property. He walks around repairing bikes with a wireless lapel mic as a camera operator controls the show. So first of all, talk to me about live streaming. We've been five years now, uh, and every single weekend, Saturdays, we go live, and there's just nothing better. The feeling of going live, and you know, in my own personal, I get addicted to going live. I just love it. There's something about live that you know whatever's going on, it just transparency. Bike Man has quite the story. If I wanted to work, I was able to work. So I had five grand at 10 years old, put it on the table, I says, I want to be a third partner. Both my parents came up with five grand each, so we started a business with $15,000 to get our inventory started. And that's how it all began. Bike Man is an entrepreneur, pool toy enthusiast, and live streaming pioneer. So, what's up with the pool toys? Pool toys are pool toys, man. Everybody needs an inflatable in their life. The only reason I never made a video out of this was that my trip out west got in the way. And the final archive consists of footage from that trip, riding Valmont Bike Park in Boulder, Colorado. Valmont was one of the nicest public jump parks I've ever seen. It's impeccably maintained, set up for all skill levels, and conveniently located to say the least. One of the best parts about Valmont was all the stuff I could convince Alex to attempt. What the Just go, I'm gonna follow you. Having regular access to a place like this will make you a dirt jumping beast. And that's a perfect description of Valmont's locals. Even with all the trails I rode on that trip, Valmont was one of the biggest highlights. It was just perfect. My plan for the Valmont footage was to make a case for a public park in Asheville, but I got sidetracked. Plus, in examining Valmont, I realized how clueless I am on the whole matter. To do this in Asheville, I'd need political connections, an operating plan, a yearly budget, a venue, and public support for the project. Not to mention a shitload of time that I don't have. Maybe someday. So that concludes the Lost Footage Archives. Next week, I'll be back in the Hack Shack cooking up some new videos in the shop. I hope you enjoyed Bobo's crack at editing a Seth's Bike Hacks video. If you like Bobo's style and don't have any kids around, check out Biking with Bobo in the link below. Thanks for riding with me today and I'll see you next time.